Hey everybody, what's up? This is Jack with SpyPy Gaming. Um, today's video, we're going to be talking about the Undaunted Celebration, and we figured what better way to do that than to run one of the Undaunted Pledges today, which is going to be March of Sacrifices. Um, <clears throat> so there's an in-game event going on, um, the Undaunted Celebration, um, where you can get pretty awesome rewards. Um, there's a couple of coffers that you can pick up. The event runs from Thursday, September 8th to Tuesday, September 20th. Now I know we're a little bit late, um, but we do have the uh, move and everything going on, the uh, transition for some stuff on the channel. Um, anyhow, you can take part in the event by Starting the introductory quest, Glory of the Undaunted, which you can obtain by speaking to Seraleth at any of the Undaunted Enclaves for the different factions. You can also travel to an Impresario tent or pick it up for free in the Crown Store. Throughout the event, once you have gone into a dungeon and killed the final boss of the first dungeon, you get a glorious Undaunted reward box as an additional loot drop which have a chance to contain various goodies, including gold style pages, undaunted keys, opal, opal weapon styles, and other stuff. Um, in addition, during the event period, you can also earn normal undaunted reward boxes for each final dungeon boss you defeat um, after the first dungeon of the day, both versions of the Undaunted Reward Boxes include a guaranteed chance to drop an item set piece from the dungeon in which the box was acquired. And both versions of the Undaunted Boxes will also include a guaranteed chance to drop one of the following items. You get a random motif style page from the from Mazatune, Silken Ring, Blood Forge, Scale Collar, Fang Lair, Huntsman, Silver Dawn, Stags of Zen, Moon Gray Fane, Ice Reach, Pyre Watch, Thorn Legion, Hazardous Alchemy, True Sworn, Waking Flame, Crimson Oath, Silver Rose, Ascendant Order, and Dread Cell. Um, you can also get a thousand gold, an Undaunted Key, Crown Repair Kit, a Riding Lesson. Um, in addition to that, the glory, Glorious Undaunted Reward Boxes include a chance to drop um, Opal Monster Weapon Styles, um, Veladreth, Elambrus, Troll King, Engine Guardian, Bloodspawn, Chokethorn are the ones available. Um, you can also earn an additional Undaunted Reward Box each day by completing Bulgrill's Daily Undaunted Delve Quests. Um, you can find him at the Undaunted Enclaves. The while the event is running, you can also get the Opal Monster Mask style pages. Um, this comes from defeating and looting a specific dungeon's final boss on veteran hard mode difficulty. Um, actually, that just provides a greater chance to receive its associated uh, mask style page. The ones available are a Lambrus in Crypt of Hearts 1, Troll King from Blessed Crucible, Bloodspawn from Spindle Clutch 2, Engine Guardian from Darkshade Caverns 2, Chokethorn from Elden Hollow 1, and Veladrith from Cradle of Shadows, which is, you know, it's something we all enjoy. Um, if you own the ordinary version of a monster's shoulder style, you can also purchase the opal version of that same style from Undaunted Vendors using the Undaunted Keys that you collect throughout the event. Um, the vendors also sell mystery coffers that provide random opal shoulder style pages. Um, the specific opal pages can be purchased for 50 keys while the coffer can be obtained for 25. Um, the Impresario Throughout the event, you can earn two event tickets the first time you defeat and loot a final dungeon boss each day. Um, don't forget, you can only hold 12 event tickets. I know I personally don't pay attention to it unless there's an event going on. So, you know, my, my uh, attention is a little bit heightened right now um, around that. 
to make sure because if you collect more than the max then they just disappear um, the items available are all three soul fire dragon illusion pet fragments the which are the hallowed hourglass basin the illuminated dragon scroll and the Kavachian incense and then there are the first two Daggerfall Paladin costume fragments, the Blessed Rubidite Enamel and Captured Dragon Flame, and then Bound Style Pages for the following Opal Weapons, Masks, and Shoulders for the Veladreth style. Um, you can also get Companion Guild Commendations. Um, Additionally, the Impresario's colleague, I am going to murder that name if I say it, the Injured Vendor, has the following items available for purchase with event tickets. The Nascent Indric Feathers, Onyx Indric Berries, Mossard Indric Berries, Ebon Glow Indric Pet, and Sapling Indric Pet. So, I hope everybody is enjoying the event well seems like this queue is going to take forever so we're going to run just a random vet oh my goodness look how much faster that queue was that's a little bit crazy dps and tank oh now we just need a tank all right. Uh, what just happened? Did the queue break? Are you serious? See if uh, teleporting in or fast traveling in works. Try to find out. <clears throat> so, even though Dark Shade Two is actually a oh, there we are. All right. Oh, they started without us. Here we go. Anyhow, even though uh, Dark Shade 2 is a base game dungeon, it is uh, rather difficult to pull off hard mode sometimes. Not always, but uh, what are we waiting on? Oh, quest. Gotcha. Um So the build, even though even though update 35 uh, did a lot of changes to how damage over time works, it didn't actually affect, uh -oh, didn't actually affect this build all that much. skills to go off here and boss one is done Let's just go for a big pull come on let's pull Joining encounter in progress. I wonder what that was about. Oh well.
this is an odd feeling run. Very odd feeling run. Oh, oh, don't glitch. Zerg Light is such a good set. I don't care what anybody says. The booms. See? I will say, I believe that is probably the reason that this build did not change all that much. Still trying to get used to renewing the dots um, because some of them have changed duration, and it's a bit discombobulating. Yeah, just pull it off. Pull it off. Come on. Let's go. Skip. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'll pull it. I don't care. We are not skipping on my watch. See, this is one of the things, like, everybody looks for, you know, ways to make gold, things like that. Really, just kill everything. Loot it, kill it, it's fine. There we go, see? It was not that bad. They wanted to skip it, though. Don't get caught in that, by the way. Especially if you're squishy. This is probably one of my least favorite uh, mechanics. Where you have to kill everything. Because it's on the move. It's kind of annoying. Oh, get out of that. Come on. Oh, get out of there. Almost got me. Not quite. Alright. Mm -mm. Not 
today not dying in this fight. Oh. Ah, that thing really wants me. Execute. Uh, I need to execute. Oh well. All right. Let's go. Yeah, just pull it. Pull all of it. Look at that. Look at all that. antiquities leveled up on this character so I can see the chests I actually only have it leveled up on one character enough to see the chests all right let's see if I'm gonna go hard mode I would prefer it but you know Let's get this done. Let's do it. Let's do it. Where's our Spidey? Where's the big metal Spidey? I think we all have to be in here. Let's go, people. This is where it gets rough. This is the part that people struggle with sometimes. Not always, but it does happen. I've been in groups that you gotta have enough healing to out, out heal the damage that you take from the poison. And all of the ads that are also in the room with you. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Hurry up. Boy, potion. Come on. There we go. Alright. Execute. Let's get this thing dead. Playing around. Alright. There we go. Engine Guardians Mass, there it is. A glorious Undaunted Box Veteran Dark Shade Cabinets. All right, group etiquette. Thank you for group. Good run. And we're done with that dungeon. Now let's go. Oh, I'm the leader. All right, 
Let's see here. All right. So, leave instance. And let's see what we got. Come on. Load screen's killing me right now. <sighs> Speaking of player guilds, we actually have started a guild. Um, okay. Let's see what we got in the box. Nope, that's mail. I know what's in the mail. Supplies. Here we go. Veteran Darkshade Cavern. A glorious undaunted box. Opal Blood Spawn Shield, Automaton Bracers, which I have collected already, Silver Rose Daggers. See, that's some good stuff. Definitely, definitely worth doing. Yeah, we're going to use that. And that. All right. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you want to see more content like this, you should check out the video that is going to come up on the screen any minute now. Um, and while you're at it, don't forget to subscri subscribe to the channel. And make sure you got the bell icon clicked. That way you get notifications every time we post a new video, which is, if you didn't see the channel banner, or if you haven't seen the channel banner, it is Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. Central Time. Anyhow, I will see you guys in the next one.